Yo guys, we're back with another video. Eve's Pawns out of Tennessee. So let's talk about who is Eve's Pawn and where will he be drafted. Let me hear your comments down below. Let's hop in. Who is Eve's Pawn? Tennessee's junior forward Eve's Pawns has announced he will enter his name in the NBA draft. The reigning SEC Defensive Player of the Year brings the size and athleticism that is covered by NBA front offices. Much as he has done for the Volves, Poles brings the ability to defend multiple positions and helps offensively. Just how Pawns stacks up on NBA boards remains to be seen as there's no NBA showcase this offseason. Pons is the best athlete and the best defender in the entire 2020 NBA draft class. You often hear things like, he can guard all five positions, which tends to be an exaggeration. This is not the case for Pons. He can quite literally guard any point guard, any center, and anyone in between those positions. He can play four, he can play the three, he can even at times play the five in small ball lineups, which NBA offices will love. What makes him even more intriguing is that he shot 42% on unguarded catch and shoot threes. I think this is the most important number when it comes to his three point shooting because these are the face up step in threes that he'll be shooting at the next level the most. The thing about Pons is that he played the three as a sophomore. As a junior, he was Tennessee's four, which meant that instead of coming off of screens to get a shot, he was stepping into them as a trailing big or catching and shooting as a floor spacer. This role is the same role he would be playing in the league. Put it all together, I'll buy on a player like this that has an elite NBA skill with the potential to fill out his game to be effective in that role. There's a bit of good news here, however, for Tennessee Volunteer fans. According to a French article, Pons said on the podcast that he could come back for his senior year at Tennessee, so his decision to test NBA waters is not a guaranteed loss. It is unclear how NBA teams see him as of right now. His first two seasons in Knoxville were interesting, if not particularly impressive. He boasted eye-popping athleticism but no refinement in his game. It was only in 2019-2020 season that he began to take advantage of those athletic gifts. He was arguably the most improved player on the team both offensively and defensively. That athleticism may be enough to convince an NBA team to bring him into their franchise as quickly as possible. But more than likely, he will be telling NBA teams that he will be returning for another year at Tennessee. This is certainly a situation to keep an eye on in the coming months. Eve's Pond's decision could alter expectations for the 2020-21 season, not just for NBA teams, but for the Tennessee Volunteers basketball team as well. So with that being said, I want to know down below, where do you think Eve's Pond's is going to go? I'm actually really helped that I found out this name and I even had someone next to me to back it up on how to say his name because I thought it was like Evie's or YV's. Really weird, but he's French. So, Eve's Pawns, let me hear your opinions in the comment. Like, subscribe, turn that notification bell on for more NBA daily content like this. I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out.